Yes. Everybody doing this real shit. The message when God is for you, who can be against you? Only you gotta hurt you better than anyone else. So most times the enemy is the enemy. Most times the enemy is the enemy. But when God is for you, not even you. Fuck yeah. Ain't too many motherfuckers around here in the city of Chicago wrecking this motherfucker like this on Wednesdays. Uh, and like I was telling a young comrade, man, that just let y'all hear for the first time go to work. Uh, it's a lot more platforms like needed like this in the city of Chicago. Uh, and I can't speak for other cities, but in our city, I know it's a lot of more putting on people radios needed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go to work, baby. Puerto Rican Blanco in a motherfucking field. <laughs> Logan Square in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every week or... Man, sometimes I shouldn't even be here. Like today, man, I busted my shit last night. Like after today, I have no more commitments to nobody and ain't mama but my mama. And my mama probably going to be fucking with me for the next couple of days because I broke a rib or two last night from fixing some shit in the studio. And uh, Puerto Rican Blanco had some shit he couldn't get to last week. So I said, no, let's go on, uh, get this over with and done and get him in the building. And then I can go on, uh, get to healing and, uh, you know, do what I can do this weekend and take care of pop. So it could be a lot more pop radios, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we in this motherfucker. Uh, I try to bring y'all an artist spotlight every week through iHeartRadio. Sometimes I could only do it twice a, a, a month, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I could do it once every three months, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get nine motherfuckers. And they'll be like, Bob, check this out, woo. I get all the, you know, family lamb shit, but I can't rock like that all the time. You know, love is love, business is business. Uh, corporate, if they ain't trying to hear it and they ain't rocking with it, all I can tell you is try back next time. You know what I'm saying? Blancos, on the other hand, sent us a joint. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. Uh, high joint. You know what I'm saying? You want to tell us a little bit about that, Blanco? Uh, about this new joint? And we'll get into maybe uh, what got you to go to work. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, uh, first of all, shout out to Encore. That's my engineer. And uh, he also co-produced it with uh, another producer named D-Money. And uh, I heard the beat. And I had I had the beat for a while. And I, just, I, just had, I just had nothing to go to it. And then uh, I remember I, I just got off of my actual job, my 9 to 5. And I was like. Man, I was making way more money, you know what I mean, with, on the other side. And I was like, I should just go to work with this shit. Fuck, fuck a nine to five. So I got home, started listening to the beats again, because I try to write every day. That beat came across, and I just said, I, 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 so I At least it. you write. You know, I, it's a lot of youngins that nowadays, and pop, pop try to fuck with everybody, you know. Right. But man, bro, some gifted motherfuckers. You know, uh, I love to write. I'm mm -hmm. a poet. I was always a writer anyways. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I could write books and shit. But uh, some kids and youngins and uh, go right in the booth, bro. Yep. Uh, or right to the studio, man. And I have two, three songs and shit. Just, you know, they say anything, though, sometimes, too. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. some just come out with some little bangers and... Go in the studio with no material, come out with three bangers or two bangers or a banger and a half at least, you know? And I don't got that gift. I got it right. I, I tell I uh, Easy. I was telling Easy, day. Big Easy. Shout out to Big Easy, man, my boy. Big Easy. I was telling him the other day, shout out, man, and you and your little crew, man, because I, I, I probably got to sit down and write. Send me the beat. I have you a verse by tomorrow. That's a fact. Simple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll give you a verse maybe two hours, you know, but I got to write to the shit. You know, and then I want to, I don't just want to put anything out there. You know what I'm saying? I want my lines to make sense and my bars to uh, make total sense. Yep. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. an artist. You but know? For me, I think, though, it's kind of a habit. And it, it became a problem when I started recording music, too, because when I started actually getting into rap was through battling. Nice. Like, in high school, I was just battling, you know, niggas from nice. other schools and shit. So I had to get used to writing. So when I started recording which has only been like a year almost that I've been doing that. Congrats. Appreciate it. I, first, My first obstacle was 
as a battler, you're trying to make everything have a scheme and lead to the next thing. I was like, to make a good record, you don't necessarily always have to do that. So I had to break that pattern. And then on top of that, I was already in the cycle Evolve, having man. the right. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, go ahead. So I was, it, it was just a learning process, and it's still a learning process. Dope. You know what I mean? Well, I see, you know, as you, because from what I, I could tell, uh, you got fundamentals. Yeah. You know, so you did the, yeah, the battling thing, the arena thing, you know, the let's play a few, you know, let's get a, ca- a few cats and let's fuck around and like some tigers and lions and whatnot. Okay. And that's all part of hip hop. You know, a lot of people skip that. You know, a lot of people skip the yard and skip the, you know, the back of the train mm-hmm. or, you know, wherever you have fun at doing the fun shit, which is rhyming. You know, if you grew up rhyming. Yeah. Uh, and you just said some shit that, you know, you had to attack um, this whole uh, process of writing now, uh, or, or this whole process of making music now by uh, breaking all those rules, yep. which is sitting down, writing, and it has nothing to do with just coming up with a rhyme, you know, which is, uh, and you're gonna evolve a lot more, bro. Uh, keep going to work, yes, join is hot. Uh, we're gonna get more to your story here in a minute. Uh, I got sponsors too. I gotta pay some bills. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you locked in, man, with Chicago Lead Alliance Worldwide Distribution. Uh, Recordio Studio just opened on the west side of Chicago. We got green room. We got a uh, studio uh, uh, block prices. We got three hour minimums. Uh, come rock with us, Chicago Lead Alliance. Anybody need some studio time? Chicago Lead Alliance at gmail.com. That goes for the models too. We're doing photography, uh, portfolio work, uh, and EPK work. So get at us. Chicago Lead Alliance at gmail.com. Uh, big shout out to Street Level Youth Organization that be rocking for the kids over there on Ashland uh, and North Avenue, 1637. Duke Lisa always picking them kids up, showing them how to record music, showing them how to work that camera, and inspiring these kids to stay off the street and do shit that they already like to do anyway. A lot of our kids are stars. We just got to teach them how to be stars at a young age. Uh, what else I got? I got March motherfucking 14th. Hottest shit in motherfucking Chicago. Uh, Shy Back Workshop. Uh... Artist development, we're gonna have Def Jam in the building, we're gonna have hip hop legendary star guests, and we're gonna have some New York fashion run week of models to show the models how to pose, how to walk, and you will leave with some portfolio work. So get you one of the motherfucking shy back tickets on Eventbrite. Chicago Shy Back Workshop is for the artists, it's for the models. Uh and real simple, man, go to work with y'all last. Right here on Pop Number Five, Spotify, motherfucking bring it. I don't got no time to talk, I'm trying to go to work I put the Pyrex on the stove and let the soda work Can't do no fronts if you ain't got it Make some noise, make some noise for my boy Puerto Rican Doctor on the motherfucking bitch so right here, man, you're going to get some real love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, join is hot. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. You know, it's dope. Uh, I see young, clean talent coming out of Logan Square, Chicago. And really with no gimmick. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know, just uh, laying down your rhymes. Uh, you get a little creative. And uh, video drops when? Video will be dropping by the end of the month. End of the month. Okay. Where can everybody go follow you at right now, Puerto Rican Blanco? Tell me where you at. Instagram at Puerto Rican Blanco. All lowercase, all one word. Twitter at Puro Blanco DTR. That's capital P U R O, capital B L A N C O, capital D T R. Give us a little bit of background on, uh, on you, bro. Uh, where you're from. I said Logan Square, but maybe. Uh, some of the things you like doing as a kid growing up, your favorite foods, and, uh, you know, take us to your teenage years real quick. That got you being a grown up. You know what I'm saying? So, I, right away, like, I, I've been into music from the very jump. My mom was into hip-hop when she was my, when she was younger, so it just kind of transferred over to me, but my pops hated this shit. He did, yeah. He hated this shit. So my mom, when I was five, she came home one day with word of mouth, the ludicrous album. Oh yeah. shit, hard, man. Yeah. Curse words, all yeah, that. real hip, so, yeah, hard hip hop, going crazy. So, yeah, ever since then, that was that was my first memory of it. And since then, like, I remember I'll get out of kindergarten two forty five, 
live right down the block. I'm home by 2.50. By 3 o'clock, I'm right in front of the TV. I'm watching BET because Rap City, the basement's coming on. Right after that, we got 106 in Park, and then my day is done. Okay. I mean, you look at my room, the walls, I'm, I got nothing but Source Magazine awards. I got all my favorite rappers, like DMX was my favorite rapper growing up. Uh, I got their lyrics printed on my wall. So I've always loved the music, like they was my superheroes to me. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as where I'm from, I was born in Cicero. Uh, moved out to West Humble Park for a little bit. Lived most of my life in the Logan Square area. So moved around a little bit. Back out in Cicero currently. Shout out to 290. So, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, anything else? You want to tell us a little bit about more about your childhood? Uh, Growing up in the city? I mean, it's pretty... Uh, Cicero's a city. You know, that motherfucker yeah. right there. That's yeah. the city. <laughs> Despite you know? what people say. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the suburbs I can consider the city. That's I mean, Cicero. You yeah. want Cicero? Yeah. That's Chicago. You yeah. know what I mean? So, I mean, really, I, 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 it was pretty normal up until, like, I was, I'll probably say, like, high school. Okay. Uh, then, you know, outside influences started coming in and shit. Um, fucked up, did some stupid shit. Did a little, a little juvie thing. Um, but I moved for a year. I, I, I left the Logan Square area, and from there, so much shit happened. My mom's left. Okay. My dad lost his job, so I had to pick up the slack. And um, it, it just taught me how to become the man of the house and shit. So that's why, like, I'm 24, but most of the people that I'm cool with is older because it, it just made me grow up quick. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say that much of a challenge. You lost your grandma, right? Yeah. Last week? Yep. Uh, God bless you, man. My condolences, my family's condolences, and everybody from Rock, uh, Pop Radio, man, here. Our condolences peace, goes mom. to you and your family. May she rest in peace. You know, I know. We're going to do a moment of silence, actually, real quick. Let's take uh. Let's do a little moment of silence, everybody here. Bow our heads for uh, Puerto Rican. You want to um, say her name, Puerto Rican Blanco? Rest in, rest in peace, Petra Rodan Suazo. Love you. Miss you forever. Well, yeah, man, man, uh, you know, she rests in peace, bro. I'm real close to the OG, man. I, I lose it, you know what I'm saying? Something happened to mommy. Oh, my God, I'm fucked. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, con uh, congratulate. Uh, I'm going to congratulate you for, you know, coming up here so quick and still, you know, uh, conducting yourself like a professional artist and a professional man. I think that's something that's getting you, man. Um, and it's going to get you a long way in the industry is being so humble. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you young rappers nowadays, man, they have this chip on your shoulder like you did 20 years, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so it's all about how you come, man. You got to be humble, man. You got to you gotta always even give it up for the pioneers, man, who started this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if you may think they old or, you know, they ain't hot or current or they don't get enough views right now. Still, so salute, man. Still respect, man. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be having this big ass tip on like you deserve 5K or so already. Ain't even really did two, three songs, my nigga. Ain't even win nowhere yet. Don't even know how to wash your booty right yet, to tell you the truth. But, anyways, you know, be humble. And I'm saying, uh, Puerto Rico and Blanco, humble is gonna get you a long way. Um, tell us, uh, um, after getting in this uh, music, what do you see yourself doing for the next? Are you now just go to work? Shit, this some serious shit. You plan to get it lit and, and really take this shit well, for real now? I'm trying to get it in the hands of some DJs. You know what I mean? Get some plays on it. Get the you thinking about up. traveling or? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anybody interested, man? Um, uh, Puerto Rican Blanco, any of the guys hey, on my hey, uh, pop. I'm doing break. bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Whatever the fuck y'all need. God bless you. You heard bar mitzvahs. For the low, too. For the low, yeah. If you fuck with Going to Work, man, you fuck any, uh, uh, with any of his content, man, fuck with the kid. The kid got, got, got some sauce. Uh, anybody trying to go out of town? Uh, what is it, Cannon? Mar I'm booked. A Chicago Leader Lies is booked. Texas, next month. Let's get it lit. March 21st, South by Southwest. Shout out to Urban Feast and Shannon Waldron, who's always booking your boy Pop. Uh, anybody want to get uh, on flight? Uh, we got ARMBB. I got 20 minutes, 30 minutes of performance on the stage. 
Uh, let's get it, man. Email me, Chicago Need Alliance at e, uh, gmail.com. Uh, put attention, uh, Pops Agent for South by Southwest. Uh, and let's get it cracking, man. Uh, I advise you, bro, move around. You know what I'm saying? Get your product out there. Spend some money on promo. And that's what I advise a lot of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give real quick on Puerto Rican Blanco some artist tips that will help real quick a lot of you upcoming rappers or even you rappers that was what I was doing in 20 years. I was talking about y'all was rapping, still doing the damn same, same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So this is my advice to y'all, man. Be original. You hear me? Don't try to be like the next Schmolia, you know, try to sound like the... No, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and always have fresh content, man. Talk to your people, even if you think you are anti-social, motherfucker. I've had to try to do it. I've had to learn after 20 years of being locked up how to learn to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So be more social. Uh, build your own fan base Don't be getting pop Thinking you just finna get a feature from pop Or from hypno Or from twister And then you go oh, they, they, You blew up overnight You grabbed all their own fan base No Start your own fan base And cater to the people who rock with you You know what I'm saying If you do by chance work And get a, a track with twister or anybody else And they people rocking with you And you You know they, they fuck with you Then cool You know what I'm saying But build your own fan base See what they want and give them some more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, market, campaign, understand? Put some motherfucking money into yourself. Put some motherfucking money into your product and get this shit around, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna know about you unless you make them know about you. I, I know one thing for sure. You ain't gonna be no boss unless you yourself step up and be the boss. You know, if you boss up, it's that simple. So if you want your shit in Italy, Get your shit in Italy. You know what I'm saying? As simple as that. Right. Tour. And when you go touring, <laughs> don't be talking about, you know, just because you went to Wisconsin Dells for a day or two. Oh, look, I'm out here on tour. No, that shit ain't no touring, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, stop. And all that stunning one. No, let me stay on the, <laughs> let me stay on the, on the, on the artist tips. Tour. And get your merchandise out there. Take some merch with you, you know? And then take out that little time to use your skills, your social skills. Hey, how you doing? My name is Puerto Rican Blanco, man. Check out, look, for free. Look, here go my uh, CD, man. Check me out. Look, right now, I'm going to follow you. You find whatever, man. But, you know, get out there and get your uh, tour and get your merchandise out there. Have hoodies, whatever. Have something to give the people and get the shit out there. Um... Have all your legalities together before you talking about you a professional motherfucking anything. Look, pop up. Pop Radio Worldwide, that shit LLC. You understand what I'm saying? It's a business. You look at Prince of Pain, yes, I'm on uh, Spotify, iTunes, fucking title, all that shit. Because I got my legalities together. I went and I paid to get my name certified. I went and I made sure that I paid to uh, uh, publish music. So... If you want to be a real rapper, do the real things that you need to to cover your ass so you can own the shit and you're not just dropping shit and motherfuckers are just taking your shit that you don't even own. You know what I'm saying? Get a website as well. If you get to the point where you're doing all these things, you should have a website. You know, it's not that expensive. Uh, have somebody that is a web designer design something that's simple that just tends to your fans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it lets them know where they can buy your stuff, where they can download your stuff, where your tours are going to be at. And it's another way to, you know what I'm saying, get your shit out there. Respect others working just as hard as you and continue to stay humble. And don't expect a motherfucking thing from nobody in this shit because don't no motherfucker owe you nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You want to be a rapper? You want to be a star? Then you're going to be that star. You know what I'm saying? And if you become, you know, uh, profitable off of doing something you loved it to do and it was your dream, then just be blessed, man, and give all praise to where it's due, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Puerto Rican Blanco, where do you go this year next? Where do I go next? Yeah, yeah it's the beginning of the year now. You got a nice little joint. It's going to be up uh, by, the, by, by, well, now that everybody's listening to it, it's up now. Uh, where do you go now? The video is going to drop. What do you go next? next? Next move has to be shows. Shows. You got to the guy, guy get to the people. It's the, okay. only, it's the only way you're going to really get out there. And I, I, I feel like it, it's most important to me, just the type of shit that I try to stand on, is that I need to get to the shows where it's going to be hardest for me to reach those people first. 
You feel me? Yeah. Like, if it's going to be hardest for me to reach people out south, that's where I need to get the shows first. Right. I want to get, because it's already hard enough as a Latino in hip hop well, to get noticed. You know what I mean? Especially in this city. You know what I mean? Like, I look at. So, El- yes, go to other. Mean? You know, I ain't going to lie to you, man. And I love you. We rock with pop. Uh, I go anywhere, man. We the shit, bro. Yep. Puerto Rican, light skin, <laughs> with a little raspy voice, a little track. <laughs> They fucking with you. They're going to show you love in Florida. They're going to show you love in Atlanta. They're going to show you love in Texas. And, you know, uh, they fuck with you. Uh, Don't let that be, yo, you know, be the underdog that shines. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that hold you back is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Rep out for the Latinos and make sure you cater to your Latinos. This one said, wow, man, I got to do some different shit. Uh, All of them, Cannon and everybody. Man, do this kind of track. Uh, man, do this. So, you know, sometimes I got to do just that kind of track mm-hmm. just to make sure I hit them one time, you know, hit my people. That's a fair. Uh, I'm going to go real quick. I'm going to take a quick little music break. Uh, right now, uh, salute real quick. We're all going to make some noise real quick. Let me find my program. Okay, so we're all going to make some noise right now. A round of applause, man, for Puerto Rican Blanco. That is our official IR Radio Spotlight of the Week. Uh, we fucking with go, go to work. I'm going to play it again. Right, motherfucker. <laughs> Working just as hard as Blanco, and, and we, we, you know, we sit down or we, we connect. It's, it's going, it's going to happen. Pop radio worldwide, iHeart radio, Spotify radio. Come back on the first. Can't get money when you scared, so pussy go to church. This is dirty money, dirty. I've been doing dirt from the AM to the PM. I've been doing dirt. Cross the borders in the regal. I've been doing dirt. Pops Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify Premium. Uh, we need baddies for the week. Yes, Every Wednesday baddies. night. Baddies, baddies. If you are interested, get up with Kitty. Kitty is on Instagram at underscore Kitty Cat. Underscore. underscore. Okay, underscore Kitty Cat. She's going to pop up. She's all over the radio page. Anyway, if you guys are trying to be uh, models of the week, Send us two pictures, send us your portfolio, send us your Instagram. Phone number. Phone and a, uh, yeah, your daytime phone number. We're going to get back up with you. We're going to make you one of our baddies of the week. Go to work. It's time to go to work. Go back to work. Pop. <laughs> so let's go back to Puerto Rican Blanco. Anybody just tuning in, Logan Square is in a building. Uh, representing and debuting a new track called Go to Work. Don't yep. join. Uh, congratulations. Visuals dropping very soon. End of the month. End of the month. Look out. Uh, we got it first. We're very privileged. Uh, salute to all the DJs, all my homie DJs, K Caesar, Ferris, Ozone, Mustafa Rocks, DJ Kayla Troy, uh, Mike Too Smooth, Meal Ticket, B Dub, Mile High. <laughs> Check it out. Go to work. My boy got heat. Um, tell us a little bit of uh, your biggest inspirations, man. Who are your biggest musical influences? Uh, so, I would have to say, I gotta give it to Jay Z first. Just he wasn't so much when I was younger, but looking how he transitioned into from a rapper to a businessman, it, I think that's kind of like how all artists should try to be. And then on top of that, you know, I gotta look at guys like you know DMX just because. You said the whole total opposite too. What's wow. up? You yeah, said the whole yeah. total opposite to yep. each other. I'm listening though. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Because okay. D, with DMX. He, he, because I was a Nas fan, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In though. that era, no, I don't think you were around yet. That it well, maybe you know, growing. Remember, were you? Did you like uh, go through that whole beef of the Jay Z yeah. and the Nas? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. growing up to that, thank you, honey. Growing up to that, uh, but no, I I heard all the truth. He went through the whole business, you know, growing up. He took over. He bought Nas out at one point and. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, can't nobody take no bees from Jay-Z at all, you know what I'm saying? So I get you, him being one of your biggest musical uh, influences, you know, that's, I can't not mm-hmm. knock a Jay-Z, uh, the and DMX. As far as DMX goes, for me it was like, he let you know that whatever it is you're going through, you put it out there. Don't be afraid to be, actually get on the track, pray, cry, get on stage, cry in front of thousands. He gives you all of them every time. As an artist, I think that's just something to look up to. 
I love you know you can you and me right where I love you know um so X is one of well X my brother number one you know I love DMX I've been uh was it this no, Shout this out to year last year I was on his uh his Dark and Hell is Hot tour I rocked out with X I rocked out with X I think one of my first biggest performances in Chicago at the Portage Theater. Yeah, I got to rock out with X. Salute to uh, Gilly Delgado, X manager. I ain't gonna lie, I lose my mind if I got Next to week. meet X and perform with him. I lose my fucking mind. I have lost my mind many mm -hmm. times. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, X is one of my f favorite all time artists and also mu one of my musical influences. And yeah, I agree on everything you saying. Uh, but my favorite, my favorite, like um, rapper of all time, I think. Scarface, bro. It's my storyteller, Scarface, you know. Uh, as far as, you know, my pops, you yeah. know, cool. I can see that, yeah. I love yeah. Scarface, man. Scarface, a dog. First time always. I seen a man cry, first time I seen a man, yep. Yeah, I, even the new shit, fuck you, mm -hmm. you know, fuck you too. Yep. Uh, yeah, all that shit. I love Face, though. He's laying down, like, every time he's doing politics now, uh, or city council or something for his mm -hmm. state in Texas. So, so you to him, uh, you know, he's at his age anyway. Shout out to OG. He did his career, you know. Uh, so who else? Who else you got? You got Jay-Z, you. you got DMX. Be honest with you. Yeah. The man next to you. <laughs> the man next to you. Yeah. We're going to get to him next. Justice? Yeah, it's J Major Productions. Justice, go back J Major Productions. Video producer. Uh, Chicago uh, raised video producer. Do photography, video. A lot of music video, all of that. How do you play into, how does he play into being your So, so I met him. Salute, uh, Jay, salute, salute to, we gonna get to, my brother. to you next and all, so, all that good stuff, but I, I met him at, uh, my, at the 9 to 5. Okay. And, uh, I just went in there, somehow it came up that I used to battle. Okay. So, I, throughout the day, I was just You're all okay, I eat, you weren't trying to say <laughs> nothing, right? So, it came up, it came up, and then it would just be like me randomly, the customer pissed me off. I just give him a bars, you know what I mean? <laughs> just start dissing the customers and shit. And he kept telling me, yo, bro, you got to record. You got to record. You got to get in the studio. I can shoot the video. I got Do you. you record too? You engineer too or no? No. Okay, okay. But he, he was just he pushing. Was pushing you to do it, right? No doubt. Then, you need that sometimes. You need that sometimes. Yeah. And then his work ethic, first of all, I've seen the man. Grind. I've seen the man go to school, do a nine to five, from nine to five, shoot a video, come all the way back. You know what I'm saying? So, Montana, the you know what I mean? Day, she do the same thing, so you know? he just he just told me that you 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 gotta keep you gotta keep Canada pushing. Got like four jobs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he shot my first video, "Life I Live." Find that on YouTube now. And what is it? Life. Life I Live. Life I Live by my boy Puerto Rican Blanco. Uh, Puerto Rican Blanco shot by my uh, what product? What's the name of the production? J Major Productions. J Major Productions. Major, tell us a little bit about yourself right now. Yo, so. Uh, J Major, I'm a, a recent graduate from the School of Art Institute, studied film, video, got my BFA. Uh, uh, what I do is I'm a video producer, so I specialize in doing all facets of video production. You can find my website, www.jmajorproductions.com. You will see short films, feature films, documentaries, music videos. You will see promotional campaign, every type of form and facet of work. How long you been shooting? Yeah, I've been shooting for about uh, seven years now. I started when I was in high school i was just messing around with the cameras me and my homies was dancing so we was recording videos of us dancing putting them on youtube and so then people in the community they was all in music and they was like oh you got a camera you a cameraman i was like yeah and they was like hey yeah. come shoot my videos and i got a camera and i was like oh, yeah i was like bet all right i'll come through slide through shoot some of your videos so i didn't have any experience you know at this time since i was in high school i didn't get the experience uh from college so I just took out the Canon and I just started shooting a lot of videos. They started vibing with it and then I just continued to grow from them. Beautiful. Tell me some of the biggest people you work with. Or some, not even the biggest. Some, tell me some of the people you work with that you're proud to say I did that project. Definitely. Um, I've been working with a lot of local rappers. I, I initially started out. I love like, the local rappers. Low, as long like, as they working hard. Yeah. And I know that you just don't want a handout, and you actually putting money into your project and, and into yourself, and you going to get it like a boss. I respect those definitely, you know definitely. What I'm so I think that has a whole lot of value to it. A lot of low key rappers. Like I start off with my cousin's name, Louis Lil Louis. Start off shooting a lot of his videos. Uh, he What's got his name, name Lil Louis. He Lil got a Louis? lot of yeah. He got a lot of videos out there. I gotta uh, check him out. 
Definitely. And then I started shooting with uh, uh, collaborative group, groups. Uh, shout out to Nappy World. Nappy World is a artist collective of all type of creators. They sound Whether interesting. Videos, they do graphic design, acting. We got Nappy World Collective full of creative individuals. Shout so out Kaz and Laro. Yeah, Kaz, Laro, uh, uh, Kid Young, been doing a lot of videos for him. So all of these artists are people that's local and up and coming artists. And then of course, Puerto Rican Blanco. All of them is local and up and coming. And I shot a lot of videos with them. I'm really interested in working with people that has a creative vision to the project. Uh, people that's invested in um, thinking about what their image is going to be as it's projected into the world. You can have some people say, hey, come shoot my video. We can just do a run and gun. But if you want to get some thought and intent and some conceptualism behind the project, I'm all in for it. And so uh, people like Puerto Rican Blanco, he's really invested in putting some creativity behind the vision. Yep. And people like uh, uh, K. Young and Casual, Nappy World, everybody like that. What do you like about the Latino culture? What I like about it is... I've been exposed to something I've never been exposed to. I was grown and raised on the south side of Chicago. So what I like about the Latino culture is it's really connected to black culture. Like we have... Uh, we ain't number like nigga. niggas. Yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's, it's, it's a lot of synergy uh, within us. We, we got a lot of things that we've grown and have experienced the same way that other people have it in our uh, communities and stuff. And... To have somebody of another culture and you just go out there and you just explain like, yo, this will happen, this, that, woo, woo. You start talking like this way, that way. And they vibe with you. They understand what you're saying. Not just verbally, but uh, emotionally as well. I really like the fact that we have something that we can like connect with. Um, I really like the music. Like it's, it's a broad range of music in the Latino community. Uh, That's how I knew who was racist when I was young. You ain't like hip hop. I knew you was a real <laughs> I swear. If you ain't like hip hop when you was growing up my age, Mm, you were racist. And Puerto, Rican, <laughs> Puerto Rican Blanco, shout out to Blanco too, because he he he's really uh, conscious and conceptual with it, because he he gives an exposure uh, about what the Latino community uh, lack of exposure that they receive, or uh, a lot of information about that. So just meeting him and having conversations with him exposed exposed me to a lot of different things about their community and stuff. So that's really interesting to me. Really, something that uh, people should think about too. So I'm digging that. Uh, what's your biggest, biggest, best project you've ever made so far that you can say, look, this is the one. Uh, book me for it. I know every videographer, they have this one video that they're like, you know, check, when they ask for your work, you're going to send that one, you know. So which one is the one that you share uh, that really displays how dope you are? Definitely. Um, you know, it's, that's really a difficult thing to say when you really love the passion and the work and you're working with creative individuals. Okay. So it wouldn't even necessarily just be... Uh, I've never asked nobody uh, that question. Um, yeah. I haven't. I, I mean, I get, but I get your response and I respect you. It kind of trying to tell me that you... You real, real dope, so you might love all your projects. Hey, you know? hey, he humble. He's humble. I get my humbleness from him. He the coldest motherfucker in the city. Fuck all the humble <laughs> shit. He slept on. He's the coldest director, the most professional director. If you're not fucking with him, you sleep. You yeah, fucking definitely, him. definitely appreciate that. <laughs> dope, dope. Uh, I'm make sure I check. Out. <laughs> Cause like, okay, if I was gonna um, like, uh, if I was gonna say one of my best projects is something a little deeper. It's called. Uh, it's a documentary short. It's colorism in the black body image. You know, a lot of people uh, go and they do a lot of work. They may focus on music video, they may focus on directing and filming and stuff, but I like to dive into all different forms of work. So uh, one project I'm really like keen in on is colorism and a black body image is, is out. We're gonna be doing a premiere for it soon, so be looking out. Uh, one of the music videos that I did the most, that was decent on, um, I really, it's hard to say because I had so much fun doing a lot of different music videos, but one time I was in school and I had this uh, project, I had to, do something like experimental. So I had a music okay. video that I did. I did two experimental music videos and it slept on, like Blanco said, slept on. One of them is a uh, uh, bear room from Casual Only. You can find it on YouTube. That was real dope. It was a project that I could actually put some creative direction in, tied in with uh, Casual Only. And I was able to just do whatever it is, make some crazy visuals and some creative stuff. And the second one is uh, from Anayat, is L-O-L-F-U. And that video is like, 
crazy. We did L-O-L-F-U. some. L-O-L-F-U. Yeah, yeah. We're on so YouTube. I pay enough bills. I don't Amen. cuss. But anyway. <laughs> LOL, fuck you. That's the yeah. real name of it? Or yeah, that's, that's the name yeah. of it. On, okay. On, on Man, YouTube. I'm going to go check it out. Go check out LOL, it's real fuck nice. you. It's real nice. Uh, J, uh, J Major Productions. J Major Productions. On YouTube, everywhere. That video, that video smacked. That video smacked. I liked it a lot because uh, we did pre-production planning to it, production and post-production. Set up studio space, used multi-cameras, used projection, lighting, backdrops, uh, silhouettes. All of this stuff is into that. And, like, the whole idea is, like, we got artists that's, uh, this artist, Anayette, she was real creative with it. She was invested in, like, hey, I got an idea for this image. I want to create something like this. I want to do that. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it then. You know, a lot of people just want you to do run and gun, but I'm like, let's actually think about what we're doing. Those are serious artists. Let's, you know? let's, let's really get invested into it. And like uh, when we shot Blanco's first video, uh, Life I Live, every location that you will see in the music video has a personal connection to him. It has a story itself, a narrative behind it. We can shoot a film in each location and it have a new story to it. And it could be episodic. And I like stuff like that, that you really have stuff and you really have things that you're really passionate about. And you think about those things and you like, okay, I want to incorporate this in the visuals. That's what's going to make history. Big ups, big ups, Jay. Major Productions. Uh, I've been smiling a lot lately. I got my teeth cleaning and stuff. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, big ups, man, to this young creative generation. I love uh, when young men step up and are just fucking geniuses. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, but you sound very passionate and uh, animated about all the things that you work, which means that you're passionate about your shit. So um, also the vision of the kind of people that you want to work with. Uh, we're going to take a little music break. We're going to come right back with your boy Pop, man. Uh, uh, Pop Radio Worldwide. I Heart Radio. I done did a lot, a lot, you ain't did shit at all Whipping up a pop, pop, show you how to get it off I don't merely rock, rock, I just get the brick across Take you to the block, block, I saw these more up in the box We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back right here on Putting On People Radio With your boy Prince of Pain, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, Artist Spotlight We got motherfucking, uh, we gon' what we gonna call it, uh Film company of the week spotlight. Uh, <laughs> we got J Diggity J um J Major J Productions. Major Productions. I was gonna call J Diggity. J Major Productions in the building. We got my girl uh Kitty Cat over there chilling at the very end. We do baddies, man. I need some more baddies, man. I was hurt and I was fucked up this week and I shot two of them down. They weren't good enough for y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep it gangster with y'all. I don't just wanna bring anything up here. You know what I'm saying? And it be like that. You know, you send me a bougie, a, a pop-ass song, I'm going to be like, sorry, I can't do it, homie. <laughs> try next time. I, I didn't tell them try next time, though. But hey, look, it just wasn't for us right now. I got a couple little announcements. Uh, I'm taking on two more radio shows. Anybody got a dope-ass radio show, uh, have your budget ready. All you got to do is sit down, run your own radio show on iHeartRadio. Uh, I got to prove it. I don't even care if you've never had a radio podcast before. As long as it's a dope show, you know how to follow studio rules, and uh, you are a responsible individual. Uh, if you give me a great idea of a show, I might just buy it. Um, studio time, we have studio time available. Photo shoots, we're doing photo shoots, we're doing headshots, body shots, all the kind of shots you want to do, we're doing them. Uh, also, South by Southwest packages. Urban Feats, March, March 21st. Peck Ahead, Prince of Pain Live. With a long, uh, I mean, you got another 10 headliners, you know, I'm just one of them. So get at us about that. Um, Blanco, how did it feel to be our artist spotlight this week, bro, bro? It felt good, man. I was nervous as shit before this. I tried to get him to smoke a blunt and everything. He was like, no. (laughs) But you know what? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you, I don't mean no harm. I smoke. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad uh, they passed the shit because I (laughs) needed the shit pass. But, uh, you know, if you do 20 years locked up, you know what I'm saying? You need probably a little THC in your motherfucking system, too. So I don't do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I was like, hey, you want to smoke? Like, I've done a lot of guests that come through here because I smoke. I be regularly smoking. And they be like, no. Or I've even got one or two that get stuck, get nervous. And 
My bad. Not my intention. You know, I do this shit every fucking day. <laughs> so, you know, I'm used to this shit. Blanco, uh, any shout outs, man, you want to send out tonight? God bless the dead. Rest in peace, mommy. Rest in peace, birds. Rest in peace, Lil Dre. Big Dre. Rest in peace, Smokey. I love all you. Y'all forever with me, and everything I do is for y'all. Uh, any message you want to send these young artists, man, that uh, just like yeah. you, a little younger than you, that never did this before, bro, that a got finesse maybe once or twice, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of phony motherfuckers out here that just, you know, whatever, you know? The, the main thing that I've learned so far is, like Pop said earlier, ain't nobody gonna hand you shit. If you don't got the bread to put it, Pop called me, right? And I'm not knowing how the conversation gonna go. I'm at work. Mad customers ain't getting taken care of. And I'm at work. That was the <laughs> way You know what I'm saying? I run to the back. I'm on this. I'm on a call with him. He's like, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It's da da da. It's this much. I ain't have it. I ain't gonna front you. I ain't have okay. the shit. Like, I ain't know that. I told you what it is. Do <laughs> you see? But you, I promise you, ain't heard no hesitation in my voice. I came up with that money less than an hour. Yeah. I came when he called me for it the, worked for the, you know what We mean? ain't crack him like that. No, no, no. no. He, he, he wasn't. He, he, he We're wasn't business, though. You know, we but pay you gotta bills. Pay the bills. You but know, we pay big bills. That, that's what people gotta understand coming up is that, you know, like, they might go to justice for a video. How much you charge? This much. Ah, uh, damn, that much? Right. You gotta put money into yourself. No one else is gonna and, put and, money and should into Should nobody go to J? Uh, that's the main put, important uh, thing. Uh, J Major. Major Productions and be like, "Hey, I'm dope. You owe me a video." My nigga, I did 20 <laughs> years. I paid fucking 12.50 a month to be honest uh, on rent just for a few rooms. I got cameras that each cost a few thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I pay broadcasting fees on iHeart. I pay them everywhere, <laughs> you know, and I professionally do this shit. And you know, another, so I've been doing it. Uh, so I invested in me, you know. So yeah. if we send you a motherfucking, uh, uh, if we even give you an opportunity, first of all, to rock with you, you know, hey, man, you know, be blessed, man, and take advantage of the, uh, of the platform and understand that, you know, we also put out for the people, but this is a station by the people for the people. What I'm saying, and ain't a lot of people doing shit for the people. <laughs> Another thing you know? I learned is you gotta, you gotta think in the moment as far as your, as far as your, your work as an artist, but you also gotta think long term. Like you, when we you called me, we were talking about how I don't got a hundred niggas in the video. Yeah, all this yeah, type and of I shit. I loved it. Oh, he had a clean saying? look because you know he was being real. You know what I mean? uh, my, he told my, me he was going to work. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't bullshit. I was like, no, he really trying to seriously bullshit. invest into his music. You know what I'm saying? And I know, look, I'm going to tell you something. Pop has campaigns. Right. Pop does this. I'm on World Star, my college kid. I've invested into tours. I've invested, you know, and I know what it is. But I can show you a check. Yeah. You know, I can show you that Pop get residuals for his music. You know what I'm saying? And my, my whole reason for it was because, you know, when I was in high school, the whole drill movement was coming. And so I look at all those artists now, a lot of them can't do shows in the city because of the image that they got when they had 100 niggas in the video, all type of blammers in the camera and shit. Bro, Cannon. Promoters bro. are gonna think a problem. Cannon, a problem. easy, easy. I did, look, at, as a matter of fact, I'm glad I thought about easy. Salute to Big Easy, Benjamin, all them dudes. I love them little guys. They be they rock with pop, they respect pop, uh, and I got love for them, they movement and they music. But I rocked out, I got booked to go open up for NBA Young Boy at the Portis Theater. Cannon was there, Cannon recorded that shit. <laughs> and uh, I showed up really with no hype, man, but you know, Kong and then jump. But I do big shows by myself. I don't need hype, man. You hear this voice? This is loud enough. You understand what I'm saying? I be having females. That's what I do be having. I be having a, a stage full of some thick, beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? And, that's gay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but no disrespect to anybody who got a little movement and they deep. You know, I rock with everybody, but you know, that's how I move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God bless all of them, man. And, and uh, I do want to touch on some real quick, man. I just got news. Uh, smoke pop, man. Uh, uh, smoke, rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, rest, uh, uh, rest in peace, man. Uh, a sticker, a uh, 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 home invasion. Yeah. Man, uh, it's motherfuckers, man, putting out for y'all cities, man. Like me, once I ain't got, hey, look, I ain't rich. I feed 200 families. 
But I ain't paid for all of it. They gave me a play. I think I paid a stack of 1500 for the whole truck. You know what? I gave back. You know, it ain't that pop is sitting on millions, man. Don't get it twisted. And if you run up on me, trust me, I got you. You hear me? I promise I stay ready, you know? But, man, you, you got to be careful even trying to come up in this shit productively on who you let around here, who you get some dick to, who you try to get $40 to. You know what I'm saying? Because she will have your ass set up, dog, hog tied like a motherfucker and for a few dollars. Holla. I don't need that negativity around me, that kind of people that just want to stick me under the mattress around me. I'm glad I'm not flipping burgers, man. I'm still flipping this media shit, my niggas, and respect it. I'm, I'm flipping these rhymes and these bars and, you know, this old-ass, grimy-ass voice. And God bless me with it. Thank you. But, man, don't be trying to stick me up. You know? ain't got to have that. You hear me? Because uh, I'm going back for my shit. You know? <laughs> I ain't going to tell the police either. You hear me? But, uh, man, yeah, man. Y'all got to be careful. Watch your surroundings. Watch who you fuck with. Because half of these motherfuckers out here snake. They trying to cloud up. They just trying to get around you to see who they can meet and what they can come up on. And watch them $40 motherfuckers that's me talking about. Oh, can I hold $40? Motherfucker always talking about you can hold $40, bro. That shit turned into $4,000, even if you ain't hitting it. I've had a little friends, before the whole little $40 thing, I had to be like, oh, wait a minute. Fucking quarter tank of gas, a fucking double weed, a few blow $40. That shit, that get hurt right quick. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, even if you ain't hitting it, you, you know, you, you be nice sometimes. Generous. That fuck, she hurt. Fuck man. But once they start making that $40 thing, y'all asses cut the fuck off because I started feeling like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, man, be careful who you rocking with because, like I said, no jokes aside, they will have you dog tied. They don't give a fuck about your mother. They don't care about if you're royalty. They don't care if you're leaving a legacy. They trying to heavy up and end that legacy. So be careful who you fuck with, man. It's like Kodak said, uh, kill a street nigga, get a... Kill a street nigga, get a dime. Kill a rap nigga, get a dub. Mm -hmm. The more you got to you, the bigger the target you are. They really only looking for a name most of the time. It ain't even about the money if they want to kill you. The difference with me is I already knew if they put my head on a trophy before I was doing music, I was already a trophy. You know what I'm saying? I did 20 years, that's, nigga. That's wish they shit. could just take me. So uh, doing shit. the music was just to put on for the underdog that came from that cage after doing 20 years. It's a show we can do it too, you know what I'm saying? So salute to Hurricane and, and the Zell and the Clayton fucking Hurricane and every other motherfucker who done went through some shit, came up out the mud and got it the real way and made something, did something for the people and did it for the people, you know what I'm saying? Because he loved it and not no other phony ass clout reason. Didn't have a gimmick, didn't do no 6 9 snitch ass bitch ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the real motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. Big ups to any motherfucker who got it the hard way. Big ups to anybody who put into themselves and did something with their life. And if you ain't hit the million dollar jackpot but still loving to do what you love to do and it's paying your bills and it's profitable, man, salute to you too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you only rich and a millionaire because you happy and at peace with the stuff going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's what make me rich. Seeing my OG smile. Seeing my people around me not have to struggle so goddamn hard and making a room for them to even eat. You know, legally. You know what I'm saying? Having a hub to get away to and lose themselves and if it's not some pictures or a song or some shit like that. Where we at with it? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, fuck Twins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Prince of Pain, man. You know I'm fucking with y'all. Um, Jay, Boogie, uh, Mr. Major, send some shout outs real quick. Yes, uh, first shout out to the Lord God. He been blessing me, getting me through all of this. I wouldn't have none without my Lord Jesus. I thank you for that. Yeah, shout out to my boy, Puerto Rican Blanco. Obviously, he been rocking with me. We just really just met not too long ago, but he been riding with me. For the longest, he a real one. Shout out to Puerto Rican Blanco. Shout out to my collective Nappy World. Everybody in Nappy World, I want to do a shout out to them. Um, uh, big ups. Uh, shout out to my cousin Lil Louie. Check him out. Lil Louie, I'm gonna yeah, check you out. Check him out. And shout out to uh, like Pop been saying. Uh, shout out to every artist out here that's grinding hard for real. And if y'all got a vision, bro, hit J Major Productions up Instagram, YouTube. You can look me up on um, 
Google. Stop sending people <laughs> songs that you recorded on your phones, man. Get invested into your work. Put a little money into the shit. Then tag us in the shit. Get you know? invested into your I don't work. give a fuck if, if it got some money in it. I see got. I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna salute you. You know, I might not look at all my tags either. I be busy, man. Uh, that's all I get hit for. Trust me, I get I get hit with 112 tags a day at least. Easy on the easy, easy slow side. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Anybody else you want to bro? Uh, shout out to my moms, for real. My moms and my sister, they've been my biggest supporters from the get-go. When I first bought my flip cam, they was on my back like, hey, watching every video, locking every video on YouTube. Shout out to my mom, I love it. Definitely. Yeah, mama's boy, just like papa, mama boy, I love my mom. <laughs> Salute to my mommy. Salute, mommy. Yeah. I love you. You hold me down on my good days, on my bad days. Te quiero con todo mi corazón. Tu eres la luz de mi ojo and all that other really good special stuff. I love you, mommy. I love my brother, Joel. Shout out to Joel Quinona. Shout out to his girl, Jax, a Francine that's been in Chirac and all the other projects. An amazing actor, producer, all the other shit. And they got a dope company launching the Loose Leaf Company, 420, Friendly, 420, 10th, for everything with 420, <laughs> you're going to want to find uh, Also, um, shout outs, what well, I want to shout outs. Um, I said, every you, 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 shout out you. Shout yeah. out to everybody, everybody that been rocking with us, the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all y'all. Yes, a shout out to Kitty that's in the building. Kitty, send some shout outs. Shout out to everybody here. <laughs> okay, so shout out to everybody here. Everybody here right. Don't hate. Right now. Don't hate. But, uh, shout out to Cannon Montana. Shout out to uh, Exquisite Eats that is always in the building. Uh, check them out. I, I seen some new shit pop up the other day. I, it made me a little too hungry. I didn't want to stay looking on the page too long. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but they make... Uh, some dope strawberries uh, infused, all type of chocolate berry <laughs> stuff that will get you fucked uh, uh, It's been another wonderful week of Wrecking Wednesday. Your boy Prince of Pain here at Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium. You heard it here first. It was the track of the day. Go to work. You heard it again. <laughs> Prince of Pain, man, it's been another week of Wreck It Wednesday with your boy Prince of Pain. Big salute to J motherfucking major productions. Make sure you rock it with them. And don't forget today's motherfucking song of the week. Go to work on my boy Puerto Rican Blanco. Puerto Rican Blanco, you can follow me on Instagram at Puerto Rican Blanco. All lowercase. Follow me at Twitter. Time to talk, I'm trying to go to work. I put the pyrex on the stove and let the soda work. Can't get money when you scared.